3 News at 5 starts now. A wife convicted in her husband's death wants out of jail. Thanks for joining us at 5. I'm Kat Villianzoni. And I'm Darren Perrin. Pamela Smart's story read like a fictitious movie script, but now she says she's getting real and admitting her role in the murder of her husband. 34 years is a very long time. That's how long Pamela Smart has been behind bars. The New Hampshire woman was just 22 years old when she was sentenced to life in prison without parole. The then school staffer began an affair with a 15-year-old student who later fatally shot her husband Gregory at their home in Derry in 1990. And investigators said she convinced the kid to do it, to get out of a costly divorce and to claim his life insurance. Did you get the gun? Yeah. The case played out like a movie and inspired one, starring Nicole Kidman. But all along, Smart denied her part in the murder plot, and repeated attempts at appealing her sentence failed. Smart maintained she'd never admit to the crime. That just changed. I had to acknowledge for the first time for in my own you know mind in my own heart how responsible I was in a new four minute video provided by people pushing for her release smart says a writing class at the New York prison she's being held allowed her to dive deep into her past and when she did she realized her role in the killing in those spaces is where I found myself responsible for for something I desperately didn't want to be responsible for, um, my husband's murder. Though she stopped short of saying she was an accomplice, that she plotted or convinced anyone to pull the trigger. So many errors that I made, and I can see how obscured my judgment was. Smart claims she's a rehabilitated woman through therapy and spiritual work, earned two master's degrees, tutored other inmates, and is an ordained minister. But above all, Smart now says she's remorseful and regrets what happened, chalking it up to immaturity and impulsiveness. I had deflected blame all the time. Um, I think almost as if it was a coping mechanism because the truth of being so responsible was was very difficult for me. The shooter, Billy Flynn, was freed in 2015, and the other kids who helped in the murder got out of jail early, too. Now Smart is pleading with Governor Chris Sununu for another chance at freedom, saying she doesn't want to die in jail. She requested a meeting with the governor and the New Hampshire Executive Council, which advises the governor. So that we could share an honest conversation but that hasn't worked before. The council rejected her latest request in 2022, and Smart appealed that to the Supreme Court, which dismissed her petition last year. No word yet if the council or the governor will accept her request this time and in light of her admission.